Hi, I'm going to give you a Photoshop tutorial on how to make this desktop background. Um, I made this desktop background for a company called HJ Computers, obviously sold computers, um, and everyone's liked it so far and they want to know how I do it. It's very simple, not much effort involved, and all, all it is is the brushes, so I'll go show you. So, go to the desktop, and we'll just op open up Photoshop. So you have this, I have the new CS4 version which I'll be showing you in which has some features that I'll be showing you. Um, so first off, make a new document. We'll go to the, the preset of the web, the web stuff. Um, the size, um, pick, pick, pick over what size you want, but the standard size is 1024 by 768 so I'll go with that. Um, so we've done that. Once it's like this, open, we're going to press F on the keyboard to change the, the, the viewing size, the viewing format. Um, you can also do a CS3, but I know CS4 also has these buttons up here, whoops, sorry, um, up here for different, for different viewing formats as well. So once we have that open, just want to zoom out a tiny bit, so you can see it better. And then we go ahead and, and make the image. So first off, make the background color black, so we'll have to make it a proper layer to change the color. Just do that. Now that we have it black, go back to the image, um, as you can see there's different colors so every single color is a different layer in itself and so there's going to be three layers for three different colors so go ahead and make three layers okay so with, with the first layer selected I just want to change the color to the, the white for now and go to brush um, now the brushes that I'm using are the Roman abstract ones and Roman 100k that's some over here as well I'll give you the link to download these in the description of the video. So I'll go to this one, yeah. Find a brush that I like in it. And let's find a decent one. Maybe I'll try this. And then once we're done like that one layer, go to the next layer, pick a different brush. Um decent ones. That'll do. And then I go to the next layer and do the same thing. Probably just fill it up a bit more into here. Okay, with that done, and grab the f first layer and go to the FX and go to the outer glow. With that, we'll change it to normal blending mode. Not dissolve, sorry, normal. Did it again. And we'll just pick a color. Maybe let's do red first. As you can see, it's already forming. I'll we'll zoom in a tiny bit to see what it actually looks like up close. Let's zoom in a bit more. A bit pixelated. As you can see, it's already forming as already. You can change it. You can keep it here. Or you can change it. You can bump it up to make it a strong color. As you can see, we'll keep it to 75 as standard. The spread and the size can be done. Watch that. Which is back to normal. Um. Size doesn't really matter, it's the exact same as that pretty much. So, yeah, there's no the default settings are the best. So, I'll just leave that on that. When that's done, we'll go to the next layer, do the exact same thing. So, we'll just see uh, glow, find a color. Um, that's a nice blue, actually. Okay, just keep the same settings as that. And we'll put it onto normal. And then do the same thing for the third. Oops. Maybe pick a nice green for this one, maybe. And you can, um, once that's open, you can add more colors to each layer. Or you can actually make more layers and have more different colors in this. But just to add, add more, more different, more swirls and swishes to it inside the, the specific color. Just click the layer that you wish to do. So, uh, so we want to do another green, maybe over here. Green was the last layer, so you can just put that over there. You can change color even, make it blue. Once that's done, um, just move that to side, select. You can grab a a logo like I did for mine. 
just dump it in the left hand corner and put add glow around it. Um, or you can just do any text. Just let text. You can do that. And you can do that. And then we just. We'll change the color of this. Make it black. Another one. Let's go underneath. Let's dump it on top. Very hard to see currently right now. Once we'll do some effects to them, uh, we'll just put this matte glow on. Put it on white, normal. Um, and just bump up this quite a lot. And once that's done, you can copy the layer style, dump it on this one as well. Move this around how you want it. Not like that, maybe in the middle. You can change also the added globe as well if you want different colours as also. There you want that even gone yet. A nice red looks though a little bit there. Let's do the same thing for this one as well. Now we save it, put it as a JPEG, whatever, a standard file. Um, just put maximum file because that's the best quality. If it's only a desktop image, it doesn't really matter. Um, if it's going over the net, it might want to drop down a tiny bit more. But normally, maximum is probably the best for quality for the desktop images. Once it's done, let's go open it. Uh, my computer, uh, my documents, design work. And there you go, there's the background image. I hope you like this tutorial and if you want to see more tutorials just comment and question because I'm ready to do some more if you wish. And yeah, thanks to you for watching.